Do any of you guys remember the show Grizzly Adams? It was on the late 70s. I, I never actually saw it. I was kind of busy in those years. I was a young man trying to do something, but he... I watched, I think I saw it. Basically, it was a real tall guy with a beard. He was running around with uh, a bear who was his friend, and I, I suppose they, I don't know, they did good bear stuff. Who, who, knows, who knows? Anyway, here's a story about the real Grizzly Adams. His name was, uh, what was his name? John, uh, John Adams, Grizzly for short. He, uh, in 1855, he suffered an enormous uh, head and neck trauma during a grizzly attack in the Sierra, California. His scalp was dislodged, and he was left with this silver dollar-sized impression on his skull, just above the forehead. Adams uh, had made pets of several grizzlies. Well, there's your first problem right there. He also wrestled with them, and he would train with them in exhibitions. I, I just don't understand people like this. During one such bout, his most uh, delinquent grizzly named General Fremont, uh, struck Adams in the head and then reopened the horrible wound, and then subsequently was re-injured re many other times, eventually uh, leaving Adams' brain tissue exposed. Oh, God. So, I, I don't think this poor fellow uses brain all that much, but still, that is terrible. By the way, John Fremont, if you don't know who he was, the bear was named uh, after John Fremont, uh, he was an impressive guy. He was an explorer, a military officer, politician, U.S. Senator from California, first Republican nominee for President of the United States, uh, founder of the California Republican Party. He, uh, when he was nominated, oh, he lost to James Buchanan when the Know Nothing split the ticket. But you know, Buchanan was almost a Know Nothing, this anti-immigrant, anti-Catholic thing that went on for a while in our country. Uh, there's a book called The Brass Knuckle Crusades, if you're interested in, in that uh, fascinating part of our history. Anyway, that's so now you know, should there be a pop test, you know who uh, Fremont was. You also know the bear's name was Fremont. So anyway, the damage was further exasperated uh, while Adams was on tour with a circus in New England during the summer of 1860. When... Uh, when, when I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry. When a monkey was attempting to train, uh, bit into the wound. Of, of course, I should record, re-record. After more than four months of performing uh, with his California menagerie, uh, complications from the injury led him inability to continue to show. Well, yeah, animals chew on your brain and it will happen. After completing the, he had a contract with B.T. B. T. Barnum, who... Um, I come from Ansonia, Connecticut. PT was just uh, near us, and uh, Tom Thumb, if you've ever heard of him, lived in our town. And in the library, we have one of Tom Thumb's suits. Uh, anyway, so he retired uh, up to Massachusetts, a rural part of Massachusetts. He died there probably from meningitis, yeah, just five days after he arrived home to his wife and his daughter. So now, you know, you, you have this stirring up space in your brain. I just thought you'd be interested.